back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Oh my god, this hair, I want it to dry. What is up you guys, it's your girl J-U-L-I-E-T, back with another video, I'm back on your screen. So, <clears throat> Before we start this video, I want to say a huge, huge sorry for everyone that has been commenting and interacting in my videos, um, like on YouTube, and I haven't replied in like two weeks, nearly a month. Like, I am generally sorry. I didn't know that I was getting notifications because YouTube doesn't show notifications, it doesn't alert me when someone has commented or liked a video. So, I thought no one was commenting or anything, and then yesterday when I was just checking, I found myself with tons and tons of comments and I'm so sorry like I didn't I didn't mean to air you guys it was just that I didn't know that I was getting notifications but I did want to say thank you so much for literally taking two, mi two minutes of your day to just comment and make me smile because honestly like the comments that you guys like leave just makes me smile like it makes me continue it gives me like a let's go Julia like let's go we need to do this right yeah. But yeah, I'm really sorry. I didn't know that you guys were leaving comments. So sorry. Now, today's video, I asked you guys on Sunday if you guys wanted to see a video of my five tattoos that I have about the pain, the story behind and the meaning. And you guys went crazy and you were like, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. I was like, okay. Okay. So, here we are. I am a person that I prefer the tattoos to be like line, not like big big shading or anything like that it's not my type maybe one day i would get some like i've got one or two ideas that i want but it's not like i die for big tattoos i prefer them to be quite small but a lot of tattoos if you get what i mean my first tattoo is the rose that i have here on my forearm that is um about my parents now uh the first the top date is my dad's date and the bottom one is my mom's date um, the guy said that the rose signifies family. I don't know. I personally don't know. I just got it because I saw it off Pinterest. I like the design. I was like, I want that. There was there was not much creativity going into this. Like, I saw it. I wanted it. I got it. From 1 to 10, the pain, I would say it was like a 7, 8. Now, it was my first tattoo. I never experienced this type of pain. It was like 20 minutes to, to do. The most painful part, I think it was the rose because he had to go over and over and over and over again so he can stay as you don't know the closer it is to like a bone or something like um something that is more tensed the more it's gonna hurt so that's why the rose the right on the petals part because it's closer to the um, to the wrist it hurt the most just go into two years this year will be three years already this tattoo three years that is crazy like look so um at first you will feel the tattoo like henna when it dries that's like little lumpy that's how you're gonna feel it the first few days or week depends um and then it will start to peel off and it will look a bit white and a bit crusty so just make sure that you moisturize 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 not over the top moisturize because it can be bad but keep it you know never dry because that's when the skin starts to like wrinkle up or it starts to feel itchy that's a way that you can know that you need to moisturize your tattoo when it gets itchy then yeah and if you moisturize your tattoo and it's still itchy it's healing that's a good sign now my second tattoo is the stick and poke <clears throat> there we go that is my second tattoo so i've got four tattoos done professionally and one stick and poke now I'm back and focus. I think that will be the first tattoo, uh, the first stick and poke, and the last stick and poke I will get because that thing is painful. Now, this one, my niece did it. Uh, shout out to you because you actually did a really good job. We all were like, oh, we want to do stick and poke. We want to stick and poke. I don't know what I thought I was thinking. I was going to do stick and pokes on myself. I don't know what I thought. And then I was like, yeah, let's go. So I stayed in the sleepover. We went to H W H Smith. Um, we got the ink. We got needles, we sterilised the needles, we got little pots, we cleaned it, put the ink, da -da -da -da, thinking we were tattoo artists. And I was like, okay, so we all got the same like smiley face and the same hand, same finger. We were like, okay, there's going to be something of like, tia y sobrinas, you know, tan, tan bacano. We're already doing the third stick and poke and I'm here just like... 
So I told Daniela, Daniela, you're gonna have to do it because I can't do this and I want it, but I can't do it. She did it, that thing hurt. That thing is a 20 out of 10. It hurt. Um, the bone, because obviously this is pure bone, it hurt, it hurt, it hurt. And it takes a lot of layers to do like over and over again. Bear in mind it's manually. So you're gonna have to go beam, 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 beam. Instead of like a machine, you just go room, 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 and that's it, you're done. I would say it took like 40 minutes because I wasn't staying still. If I wouldn't have stayed still, I think she wouldn't finish in five minutes because the way that she was going, like she was a professional, that is crazy. My vert tattoo, um, I did it in Manchester and that's a tattoo for me and my best friend Diana. You guys have seen her all around this channel. And it's right here on my footy, my ankle. Can you see that? Can you see that? Um, you can see a better picture here. Um, we spoke about this tattoo since we were like in year 10. I believe it was year 10 and I know it was an English lesson because I remembered the room and everything. Um, and then me and her, we love Disney. Like, we love it. She, her favourite character is Winnie the Pooh and my one is Mickey Mouse. So that's what we did. She found this design. I loved the design. That one killed me. That was the most painful thing I've ever gone through in my life. I told the tattoo guy, I, I guided him that like, his hand to where to put it because that day I had some shoes and all my shoes are kind of like low so you can see the tattoo so I knew where to put it. I was like, I want it there. I didn't realise that Winnie's bum is right on top of my ankle, like right on top of the bone. Like see, this is the bone, it's right here. That was, that was it. It was painful. I don't know how I didn't cry. I don't know how I didn't Faint. There was another tattoo artist where she's full of tattoos, like full, even her head tattooed, and she said that she will never be able to do an ankle. So that made it that gave me a boost. I was like, okay, good. I'm strong. <laughs> I'm strong. Oh, I am strong. That that's how I felt. That like my ego went up. Oof. After that, they wrapped it really, really tight on me. So every time that I was like stepping. I felt more pain than when the actual tattoo was getting done. So I ripped that thing off. And that was the one that most bled. It was bleeding. I was like, oh my god. What is going on? But then we went clubbing after that and we forgot about the pain and everything. I'll give that from 1 to 10. 100. 100. I'm not even tricking like that thing hurts so much. My fourth and fifth tattoo was, made, was done the same day. And then I had the bright idea of angel numbers, which I love angel numbers, it's just so cute. And I'm attracted to 444. It's just something that I love that number, like 444. I love it, I love it. I searched up the meaning and it means new beginning and opportunities, which is something that really relates to me because I suffer with depression and anxiety and the past has been very, very, very dark for me. So I was like, I'm getting it. Now that one is right here. I absolutely love that tattoo. It's right here. I love where it is. Um, I like how it looks like one here and then one here. It evens out nicely. Um, you can see it. Like if I'm going like that or anything, you can see it. It's not hidden, like completely, but it's hidden. If you guys get what I mean, it didn't hurt one bit. From one to ten, I'll give it a two, just because the this part, the first number. Um, and the outline because as I say when it's more the skin is more like um, pulled you know more tensed it starts to like sting it was more like a sting like that was it but I was chilling I was like Ooh. I was just thinking about my day like what was I gonna do in the day but the aftercare has been hell has been hell you would see my whole arm like around it red red like this red like this literally like red like that and i wouldn't be able to touch it i wouldn't be able to go like this i wouldn't be able to this shirt i wouldn't be able to like support it i would have to like roll it all the way up i couldn't put a jacket on i couldn't like lay down and put my arm like that it was painful every time that i was going to cream it i had to put like thick layer on my finger so my finger wouldn't rub against it because i feel like you were literally ripping off my skin now the final tattoo and the most <clears throat> one for me is the one i've got here now as you guys can see it's sci life with two little stars at the top i don't know, can't remember what that's called now that's for my niece 
her dad died a year ago due to covid now that was terrible like that's just a terrible time i don't even want to think about it um and i was there with them during the process and you know all of that and now it ended up like it looked like i was living there with them instead of just going to visit them me and her have um similar mental health issues and it's really bad for both of us um and even worse for her that she just lost someone that she loves so much so every time that we were together and every time that we were laughing and joking about and everything it was like ugh life ugh life and we always complain like that so it's something that me and her understand and I promised her that I was going to get it tattooed but for her instead of instead of me trying to be creative and get a butterfly or anything like that like that is more meaningful than a butterfly or a flower or whatever she was really scared she was like oh my god i'm scared like what about if you regret it i'm never gonna regret this tattoo <laughs> i'm never ever ever gonna regret this tattoo because she's my daughter as well as her little um her little sister like them two are my daughters but my sister gave birth to them if you get what i mean um the idea was to do it here and then the small flower here i ended up putting it here because i want to see it every time that i wake up anytime that i hold something anytime that i wash something i want to see it every time i see the tattoo it actually makes me smile like it generally it makes me happy um this one didn't hurt at all at all i'll give that a three out of ten just because the s and the star was the most painful part because it was closer to the um, closer to the wrist but other other than that i really didn't feel these two last tattoos i did not feel them so those are my five four tattoos and one stick and poke i love my tattoos um i love tattoos it's just part of me like every time i get a tattoo i feel more complete and complete with myself and yeah so we got to the end of the video end of the video end of the video um let me know down below anything that you guys would like to see just a little disclaimer the um, piercing update how to take care of it my process with it is going to come out on sunday this sunday so please be tuned anyone that's been asking me questions about this that and the third sunday i will answer all of them go ahead and comment subscribe and like this video um i love every single one of you guys thank you so much for your support and see you for the next one Mwah.